What's going on guys, Mimic here with another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking just a little bit about like a three month update for you guys. I'm gonna go over um, pretty much like all my gear and future plans for what I wanna build out for end game. Uh, we'll talk really quick about some new features that we added to our Throne and Liberty app, which I showcased in my last video. If you haven't checked that out, check that out because um, then it'll make a little bit more sense when you watch it on this video. Uh, you can also join by just uh, joining my Discord. So if you want to have access to it in the future, just join the Discord we'll get you in um, it's in the description now um, we'll talk a little bit about the siege tomorrow as well we got a siege going um, tomorrow so we'll talk a little bit about that but let's jump into the app really quick because I actually wanted to show you guys that really quick um, this is the app that I've got uh, here uh, for the guild and you know it's what the app that you know our guild created Feldrot and we've added some new features to the app and we're going to continue to add new features uh, now really quick you can add your time zone that you're in so it's really good so that your guild leader knows what time zones everyone in um, this here is the dashboard it shows the last the latest activities that have been paying out for dkp obviously everything here is still the same uh, from last from my last video you go to activities here these are all the activities that we've done these are the values that they had as far as dkp goes um of course members so looks the same but we've added a way to track uh the dkp here so you can see here rost which is our leader he's got the most points with 75 dkp points i'm somewhere in the middle um i'm right here i've got 27 dkp points so not as much as some of my guild members but definitely still there um and then of course loot uh so now we can do auctions and you can do rolls so in your guild if you you know want to distribute loot by doing rolls all you essentially do is you just add it here the game will automatically uh the, the app will automatically know what it is and then it tells you the start time the end time uh when it ends uh and everyone who rolled right so it's automatically gonna document all that Obviously, Ajin here rolled a godlike 100, so, you know, this went to him. And then there's auctions, right, for DKP. You can see we did guild raids today. We got uh, the Adentus Blade, which dropped right here. We also got the Reaper Hands. So let's check out the, the Reaper Hands here in the description. It tells you what they have. Uh, this is critical hit. And then here you can you can bid here for traits. If you're trying to get traits, they're saying that, hey, if, you, if you're trying to you know roll for the traits you want to use dkp to get your traits you can do it on this item here it's critical hit so we're just going to click it really quick and there it is there and you can see it's a savage blade tells you it's got it comes with a critical hit 20 and then a starting bid and then the incremental bid it tells you when it starts when it ends obviously it's letting you know that it's open and that the auction ends in six hours and then all you have to do if you want to place a bid is just click here obviously i can't because i only have 27 dkp and the bid is up to 40. so right now robus 7 is winning the bid uh and then that's how that works so it's a pretty cool little system that we added there but just wanted to show you guys um you know uh the app so far and how it looks and you know we're adding stuff every week to it so if you guys are interested again join the discord i'll ping you guys once it's ready for everyone to try it and then you guys can go ahead and log in and create your guilds and manage your guilds there um so oh yeah one more thing sorry um so acquired items and wish lists are now on your own page so if you have like items that you want you can put them on your wish list here and obviously if guild leaders are doing some type of count council you know where they vote who gets what uh also with using dkp like it's a mixture of two things they know that i want the ghost wolf alter ego armor and they know that i want the slaughter's collar right and you can put on priority you can put higher or low you can add an item here you can have a maximum of three items let's say i wanted the reaper's hands of death i could go here and put high and then add to wish list and then it would just show here so that's a cool little feature there uh but yeah that's enough about that let's talk a little bit about the game so with the three month update three month update the game is still very fun i'm having a blast with it um it definitely helped moving to a new server so i'm grateful for that um as far as my gear goes i mean it's all pretty it's it's actually really trash right now i haven't swiped at all um so i'm like one tenth the strength that i could be if i wanted to really really be like a super godlike tank uh but i did get the cherno 
the Cherno Sword, which is uh, really good. It's close to best in slot. Probably best in slot is going to be the Queen Belandir's uh, Sword and Shield. But hey, the Cherno is nice. You can dive into the midline and Q with your counter barrier on and you'll sleep so many people. And it's really nice. You can see the cooldown's only 17 seconds. So that's what three times a minute I can sleep people. That's kind of broken if you think about it. So I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm still rocking this. I do need to get the Adentus Sword, which did drop today on today's guild raid, but I don't have enough DKB to bid on it. So I need to get the Adentus Sword as my secondary. Um, and then my armor, obviously not maxed out. Those are my stats that I've got on it. It's not it's not the best. Um, this obviously not maxed out at all. You know, I need a I'm missing a lot of stuff like I'm missing all the traits on all my items is what it is. I've been playing for three months and I haven't swiped one dollar. And I'm like, like, literally, I got these like probably the second week that I started playing. I haven't upgraded them. You know what I mean? Uh, these obviously not upgraded whatsoever. You know, I'm missing a lot of evasion. I'm, I'm missing a lot of health uh, boots. You know, I don't even have the two unlocked traits on these boots, um, cloaks, whatever. And uh, like Maga dudes not leveled up either. Um, my necklace, I'm still wearing this dookie necklace and I should have the slaughter's collar, which is the one that I want on my wish list. And it's right here. Uh, let me see the slaughter's collar, uh, slaughter's collar is right here. This is the one that I want to get because it's going to give you strength. So this is probably like one of the best necklaces so far, in my opinion, in the game is Slaughter's Collar. So it's give you the strength and it gives you the evasion, which is really nice. Um, so I need that. And then I also for the boots. So I need to mix in some magic evasion and I need to get my strength to 60. And to do that, I'm going to need to switch out my necklace. I'm going to have to level that up. I'm also going to have to get uh, different armor. I can't rock this armor. I actually need to rock the ghost, the ghost wolf set armor. Let's go look at it. Uh, because the ghost wolf set armor gives you strength. Watch, see, plus two strength, and you get magic evasion on the armor. And magic, you know, blows up tanks because there's no resistance against it outside of having leather armor and then a few passives that the tanks get, right? And in mass PvP, there's so many ranged staff users so you need magic evasion at least in this meta um so i'm going to try to get the the ghost wolf alter ego armor and then i also want on the legs i want the um or is it the so these are good because they have decks but you have to get them in a raid um but the ones i actually want are these special resistance now these are cheap uh because it's got some ranged evasion there and you can get magic evasion on it which is actually like the best one you know i need magic evasion so i'm gonna get these pants eventually and i'll trade those all out my boots and my so my boots will stay what they are the generals because you need the generals for the magic for the melee evasion which i don't even have on there but you do need it um but for the hands a lot of people are going uh, leather as well to get even more magic evasion so um i mean these these are these are okay for because you get the strength right so if you wanted to build strength you could go those um but as far as like magic evasion the only gloves honestly those strength is pretty good there um you know any any leather glove you could you could uh wear because any leather glove is going to give you magic evasion. It's it's all going to be about min maxing your main stats, right? Like your strength and and stuff. If you can get strength, uh, like here, this gives you strength, and these are leather. So if I was trying to max my strength, I would want to have gloves that give you strength, right? Um, this gives you strength, and you can put magic evasion on these gloves. But the problem is that they don't give you attack speed. So like this will give you plus two strength and you get dex, but it's plate. You can't put magic evasion on it. Um, so so you have to if I'm going to build for magic evasion, the best are actually these. Um, you can get these in a, in a dungeon as well. Let me see. You go here. Secret dungeons. I believe they drop from temple or. 
Let me see. I've totally forgot where they draw from. Those are the new raids there. Where does it? I can't remember where they draw. But they could have sworn it was. Unless I'm blind. It has to be Temple of Slaughter unless they move them out. I don't see them here. Uh, but anyways, okay. So those are the gators right there. Those are good. They, they give you the, the melee evasion, but it's plate. So, you know, and, and the DR is good for tanks, right? You get DR and you get decks, which is great. But I think for the for the legs, you definitely want to. Um, and look, that, that's the Ghost Wolf armor. So I can get it from doing Death Abyss. Um, you can get the Ghost Wolf armor from doing Death Abyss. So it's on my wish list, but but nonetheless, um, you can still get it from from doing the raids. So, um, yeah, let me maybe it's like this. Maybe it's because I'm on basic. Uh, but I could have sworn you get those gloves from someone unless I'm just unless they took it away. I don't know where else you can get those gloves from. Uh, but these are the gloves that you want. If I'm probably going to end up getting them, to be honest, because you can put um, you can put the magic evasion on leather gloves. So I'll get those gloves uh, and then the cloak. A lot of people get the hermit shroud because it's got the range evasion and it's got magic evasion. So if you're, you know, if you're trying to go with that magic evasion, keep you uh, alive longer in PVP fights, Hermit Shroud is pretty solid. Uh, otherwise, obviously it's Commandants, right? Because you get the max health, which obviously is really good for Greatsword because Greatsword's damage um, benefits on the more health you have, the more damage you do with Greatsword pretty much. And then obviously if you're tank, it's better to have more health. So this is like probably best in slot honestly for just straight tank because you're going to get the health and you're going to get the DR, which is going to scale with the excuse me with its level but i'm probably gonna go up hermit shroud for the evasion because i want to max the evasion right um so yeah that's that so those are my plans for my gear obviously i'm a ways away from being close to anywhere close to end game and um i just haven't swiped guys i just can't bring myself to swipe um you know because it's kr and like i know that I, when na comes out i'm gonna be going hard in NA so it's like I just don't want to swipe so I'm kind of like gimping myself I'm not nowhere near as strong as some of the people that I fight like I get beat all the time but I enjoy it still it's still fun uh, because even if I'm not doing like all the damage in the world or even if I'm not like making the most uh, you know the most like that I could do when I'm calling events with my guild I feel like as a guild we do well so I still get that satisfaction of like Oh, I may not be as strong as I am, but the guild is winning the fights and ultimately that's all that matters. So for me, I get still a lot of enjoyment, even if I'm not super chatted out. And even if I lose a lot of the duels that I'm in, I'm just not optimized for it. There's people that have the best gear and they have the best, you know, stats. I'm not going to beat them plain and simple. Now I have beat, I have beat people in duels in my guild. I have beat them and they've swiped a lot of money and I've beaten them in duels. So it's very RNG, but for the most part, you can tell, you know, that people are stronger because they have swiped and, and things like that. And it, it is what it is, it's just part of the game. But um, yeah, I just I can't bring myself to swipe. So I don't know. We'll see, have to see. Um, now, as far as like siege, uh, we do have siege tomorrow, which is cool. Um, I have to be up at seven at 630 in the morning, my time, because that's when the siege is happening in KR um which i don't even know what time that is in kr but um that's what time i gotta wake up 6 30 in the morning so i'm gonna be up doing that and i don't know i'll see if i can get some uh recordings of it or maybe just do like record it but like cut it up and snip it for you guys so you guys can kind of see some of the highlights um we'll see uh but outside that yeah that's just a quick little update you know my the way my gear has progressed and kind of like what i want to build and you know just wanted to talk a little bit about that i haven't made uh i haven't made any um videos about my gear and stuff and just wanted to update you i did go tank like i said i was it's been a lot of fun i really enjoy playing tank um i do miss doing damage though as well like i like you know as a damage dealer you get that satisfaction of when you you know go in and cap someone and you stun them and then you know you you kill them in one little kill and you get away like it i like that and honestly 
I might even go back to DPS and any I don't and I'm not sure yet I haven't made up my mind I haven't even played staff yet who knows maybe I really like that you know I haven't played bow who knows maybe I'm really good at that I don't I have no idea so I'm just gonna keep playing and keep trying out new things and I'll keep making videos and you guys can you know watch me through you know go through my transitions in the game and figure out what I like what I don't like and I'll post it on YouTube for you guys so you guys can can watch because um, I know there's a lot of people still interested in the game and I know you guys are waiting for it to come out in NA so trust me I'm I'm right there with you I was so hyped uh, but when I found out this game was coming out in KR and that I could play it I was like oh man I gotta play this game and I've been having a freaking blast so that's the video guys thanks so much for your support if you haven't liked the com if you haven't liked the channel like it give me a like on the video it helps me out throw me a comment in the comment section if you have any questions and I highly suggest you join the discord hang out with me whenever i start hanging out in there you can join the discord reserve your spot in our alliance spots are filling up so get in there it's in the description thanks so much for the view appreciate you guys love you till next time peace